No more newbie here. In this video, I'm going to show you five different ways of how to add the blur effect to your Share Factory videos. And it's particularly useful for your montages or gameplay videos or anything else where you want some kind of blurring effect. So if you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make awesome gaming videos using Share Factory, plus learn how to do more on YouTube and other PS4 related stuff, then this is a channel for you. So please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this. So as with most effects, it's best to do the effect just isolated before you add it to a montage. So I'm just gonna find a clip that I wanna use. I'm gonna use this one here and add it to a new project. And what we're gonna do is because there's five different effects, this is the actual gameplay we're gonna use so you can see what it looks like without the effects. But because we're gonna use five different effects, I'm gonna actually copy or clone five of these clips. So I'm just gonna to go to Square and go across to Clone Clip, and I'm just gonna do that so that we've got five clips that we can use, and then you'll be able to see all the different ones that we're gonna do. And I'll stay to the end because I'm gonna show you which one I think is my favorite one and the most effective. So to start with, we're gonna to go to Cross and Add Filter, and we're gonna to go to this one which was Blur. Okay, and straight away that gives us a slight blur to the clip. And what we can do is push the square button and go to the edit filter and filter settings. And then we can change this so it's more blurry or less blurry. And all the effects, pretty much apart from one, I think will have this ability to change the settings. So maybe get it about halfway and see what you think. And you can blur it up even more if you want to. So that's using the blur effect on the add um, blur filter for you to try there. The next one is again pushing the square button and going to add layout. And on this one you can go all the way to the bottom and you can go to blur vignettes. I can never say it properly, I think it's blur vignettes. And then that gives a blur all the way around the outside and uh, it's still normal on the middle, but the outside is a blur and it gives a nice dreamy kind of effect. And again, you can go to edit layout and layout settings and you can change the amount of the outside that is blurred. So the more to the left you go, uh, the less blurry it will be. Okay, so just push the cross to confirm and then that is the second effect for blurry effect there for you. So the third one, what we can do is again on a new clip, we're gonna go to add layout and then we're gonna to go to the tilt shift at the bottom there. And what that does is it gives an overall blur effect. And again, it's um, something that you can change about to get it more blurry if you want to. Just go to layout settings again, play about with it. Again, all of these are adaptable to exactly how you want it and what you want your effect to be. Okay, so we're gonna to get to my favorite blur effect in a second. I just wanted to mention motion blur. I've seen a few YouTube videos saying about motion blur and I'm not too sure where either I'm not getting it, but to me it just looks like blur, exactly the same as what we're showing you now. But if anyone does know how to do it, then do let me know in the comments because I'll be really interested because to my mind, I'm not sure that there is any other way other than what we're doing now. Okay, but on this one, we're going to the fourth effect. If you don't want a whole video of blur or a whole clip of blur, you can just do a part blur. So if you find a clip where you're just about to get the kill and then move back on the D-pad about six times and then what you want to do is split the clip. So push the square and then split clip. And then we're gonna use the, just get before the split clip, we just want to push the um, cross button and then we're going to add a transition. So what we're gonna do, add transition and then go down to a blur fade, okay? And what that will do is give a real nice um, blur effect just temporarily if you don't you know if you just want a subtle effect then this is a really good one and it just kind of blurs it and kind of makes it into a new image um, and it just makes something a bit different and again for montages something that's different generally is quite good I would say okay on to my favorite one this is what I like the most obviously you're gonna have your own preferences but we find that the fifth clip and we go to add filter and we go down to wind Okay, so we're gonna add a wind filter. Now automatically it puts it like this, which is very, uh, very much of a blurry sort of wind effect. Again, go to the settings and we wanna bring that down a little bit. You can get it how you want it, but I'll bring this down a little bit or I'll show you what it looks like all the way up. Um, and you know, it's, I just really like that. I think it's something that works really well. If you wanna put it into a montage, then you can do, or you can just bring it down, tone it down a little bit. 
just go into settings and change it exactly how you want it to be okay so there is one thing that with all these settings you might have noticed it makes the colors a little bit duller so we do need to take a step before we export the clip and I'll show you how to do that so what we want to do is once we've got the clip how we want it and this is why it's good to just use one clip at a time is once you've got it how you want it you want to push the options button and export to gallery and then what we can do is then bring the colors back up to a reasonable level okay so what we'll do here is you you could also just push um, yeah so let's push the option button and then go to share later and that's just exported it and instead of starting a new project I'll just add that what we've just exported to this just to show you quickly so this is what we've just exported on the right here so what we can do is we want to try and bring those colors back so what we do is we push the cross button and add filter and then we just go to saturate at the top here and that will oomph up a little bit of the color and it's, it doesn't make a massive difference but if we do it twice you will see the difference so we'll delete the first clip because we won't need that um, and then what we can do is so delete this first and then we'll export it again okay so push options and export to gallery share later and then we can this time we can go to add clip there you go find the clip that we just exported which is that one it's the most recent one and then we can do exactly the same again cross and add filter go to saturate and now if you look at the colors they're a lot brighter than they were before we did the two saturate filters so that's worth doing and it doesn't take long to do so it does help make the effect a little bit more clear and um, colorful okay and then you just finish the clip save it to gallery ready to add to your montage so i hope this has been useful if it has please do hit the like button if you haven't already subscribed please do so do check out the playlist and if you've got any suggestions of other videos let me know but thanks for watching and bye